Hi, I'm Christopher with CK Customs PA. Today we're going to customize a weeding scraps container by upcycling a wipes dispensing container. Uh, the dispenser container top works perfect for getting the scraps off of your uh, weeding hook and right into the container. This is this container we're going to use today. As you can see, the dispensing portion right there with that little star spot um, works perfect for taking your weeding hook and knocking the scraps right off. This is one that we have previously done and we've used it uh, multiple times. We've customized it out. The primary focus of today's video is going to be taking our new container which is much wider than our previously used container and we're going to cut it down to make it shorter that way we don't have to raise our arm up as high when we're weeding but with the larger base it'll be more stable and with it being shorter it'll be easier to weed into and it'll still hold the same amount of scraps as our other container so we're going to start off with going through with what we'll need for today's uh, video. Today we're going to need painter's tape, a utility knife, a felt tip marker, can be any brand, doesn't matter, just as long as you can see it on your painter's tape, which you're going to mark, as well as your container, a hot glue gun, additional glue, and then we're going to need a ruler. You're going to need at least probably a two foot long ruler. You can use a shorter ruler. It doesn't matter. Uh, and we'll get things started. Uh, the first step is to remove any branding from your container and then remove the adhesive that held that branding wrapper off of your container. The next step will be to take a piece of your painter's tape and pull a piece off and lay it down flat on our table. We'll take our smaller ruler, we'll put a mark at uh, the center of it. I happen to be using inch and a half wide tape, which is be a mark at three quarters of an inch. Put a mark at both ends. We'll take our longer yardstick, line it up with our two marks, draw a line between them, and that will give us a straight line that we will have on our tape to allow us to make a straight line when we are cutting. We'll then take our dispenser wipe tape container, take our smaller ruler, we'll stand it on our table like so, and we'll put a mark about midway up. This container happens to be 8 inches tall, so I'll use the 4 inch mark, or 4 inch point. I'm going to put several marks around the container, uh, I recommend at least 4. After we have made our marks on our dispensing container, we'll then want to peel up our tape. And we are going to want to take the tape. You are lining up the bottom edge of your tape on your first mark, going to your second mark so that you can see your second mark. your first mark and then you want to just continue holding the tape taut and moving it around and making sure it is lining up 
with your other marks, this will give you your straight line on your container to cut. And then once you have met the other piece of tape, you can remove the extra. You want to get your utility knife, put the blade out, be very careful, make sure it is a new sharp blade. And you are going to want to cut along the line on your tape to get your nice straight line. have two pieces. You can go ahead and remove the tape from both sides. Now that you've removed your tape, we're going to cut one additional slit into the top portion. That way when you do slide it into the bottom, it can overlap and it will slide in a little bit easier. So we'll take our utility knife, we're going to go about halfway up, make sure your fingers are back, and just push down, slide away. Now I'll just give a little bit of relief when we go to our top, slide it in, and you'll see those pieces just fold over top of each other a little bit, and then we'll slide it down. We we'll want to open the top, play any air pressure out, and then slide it down to our desired height. Now you don't want to shove it down too far, because we still want to be able to remove the whole top piece once we've hot glued it together to be able to dump your scraps in the trash can. Take your hot glue gun. I'm going to go ahead and put my extra glue stick in the back here. That way I have enough glue to get going. So you just want to go around with a nice thin bead at your seam. Take your time at this point, put the glue in evenly so it's not too lumpy or jagged looking for the finished product. And there we have it. That is our shortened uh, weeding scrap dispensing container. Uh, it is together. Um, once the glue has hardened, we will decorate it just like our other one that we have completed. Um, and you just put permanent vinyl on it, have it say whatever you want, make it nice and pretty. And then once it is full, Pop the top off, dump the scraps in the trash can, put your top back on, you're good to weed again. If you found today's tutorial helpful, please like and subscribe. If you have suggestions for future content, please leave it in the comments below. I appreciate you taking the time to watch today. Happy crafting!